Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between agency theory and stakeholder theory. The agency theory helps to outline the main interests of both the principal as well as the agent, which includes an individual and their financial planner. The agency theory helps to describe the main problem as they occur when one party is representing the other in business, but they also hold divergent views on several business issues. On the other hand, the stakeholder theory mainly suggests that there are a number of differences between the individual groups like the investors, employees, and suppliers in any organization. This theory helps to define the composition of an organization as a collection of a number of individual groups with differing interests. So, let's look into the basic differences between agency theory and stakeholder theory in a tabular form. Difference number one, agency theory deals with conflicts between principles and agents, while stakeholder theory considers the interests of all groups affected by the organization. Number two, agency theory prioritizes maximizing shareholder value, whereas stakeholder theory seeks to balance the interests of all parties involved with the organization. Number three, Agency theory highlights the risk of agents not aligning with principal's goals, while stakeholder theory addresses the challenge of reconciling diverse stakeholder interests. Number four, the goal of agency theory is to reduce agency problems, while stakeholder theory aims to create a cooperative and inclusive decision-making process. Number five, Agency theory is limited to principal-agent relationships, whereas stakeholder theory includes a wide range of internal and external stakeholders. Number six, agency theory sees issues when agents don't align with principal's goals, while stakeholder theory sees issues when stakeholders' interests conflict and aren't balanced. Number seven, Agency theory promotes control mechanisms to align agents' actions with shareholders' goals, while stakeholder theory advocates for inclusive governance practices. Number eight, agency theory prioritizes shareholder returns in decision-making, whereas stakeholder theory considers the broader impact on all stakeholders. Number nine, agency theory addresses conflicts between shareholders and managers, while stakeholder theory deals with conflicts among various stakeholder groups. Number 10, agency theory is sometimes seen as neglecting broader social responsibilities, whereas stakeholder theory is considered more ethically inclusive. Number 11, agency theory uses financial metrics for performance evaluation, while stakeholder theory uses a broader set of criteria including social and stakeholder impacts. Number 12, agency theory is based on the assumption of self-interest and opportunism, while stakeholder theory assumes that stakeholders can work together but recognizes conflicts. And finally, difference number 13, Agency theory may drive short-term strategies for quick financial gains, while stakeholder theory promotes long-term strategies for sustainable success. So, these are the differences between agency theory and stakeholder theory. If this lecture was helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.